Here is your latest end time news from Tradcat Night. Here's an area we try to cover at Tradcat Night quite often, dealing with epidemics, potential outbreaks, diseases, as recorded by Father Malachi Martin in his testimony on the real third secret of Fatima, wherein it is said that epidemics would kill whole nations overnight. Now, which ones? We do not know. Can it be uh, related to the chemtrail program as the nefarious emerging world government drops bubonic plague on us? Who knows? But it's being reported upon by mainstream media, specifically Reuters yesterday by Rans Ransdale Pearson, that infection experts warn of more U.S. superbug cases in the coming months. After two confirmed U.S. cases of a superbug that thwarts a last resort antibiotic, infectious disease experts say they expect more cases in the coming months because the bacterial gene behind it is far more likely widespread than previously believed. Army scientists in May reporting, uh, reported finding E. coli bacteria that harbor a gene which renders the antibiotic colostin useless. The gene, called MCR1, was found in a urine sample of a Pennsylvania woman being treated for a urinary tract infection. Now, on Monday, researchers confirmed preliminary findings that E. coli carrying the same gene were found in a stored bacterial sample of a New York patient who had been treated for an infection last year, as well as patient samples from nine other countries. The report came from a global effort called the Century Antimicrobial Surveillance Program led by Mariana Costaria of JMI Laboratories in Iowa. The MCR1 superbug has been identified over the past six months in farm animals and people in about 20 countries, including China, Germany, and Italy. Some notable countries there. The bacteria can be transmitted by fecal contact, contact and poor hygiene, which suggests a far wider likely, wide, uh, likely presence than documented cases so far, according to the leading infectious disease experts. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll track these latest superbugs. There seems to be one or two new ones over the course of the past few weeks something for us to keep an eye on nevertheless but those who are looking for your end time uh, news uh, related material please subscribe to trad cat night we'll keep you up to date providing daily news stories as it relates to these end times as we head closer to the fruition of the third secret of fatima wherein a global new age religion will be impl implemented in rome and also Planet X, which is incoming, causing serious Earth changes. So subscribe to Tradcat Night. Hit that subscribe button. Latest videos, news, information, and radio shows coming out on a daily basis. Bookmark tradcatnight.blogspot.com. Get your friends, family, members uh, in your churches. Uh, spread word because we are growing and growing quite fast. We are the most comprehensive and followed traditional Catholic website worldwide ranked in the 40,000 within 40,000 by Alexa along that right hand side of the blog spot you're going to find a plethora of information so spend at least 15 minutes a day there alone in the main section 10 plus new articles slash blogs on a daily basis news tips articles information you're seeing videos if you'd like to be a contributor for Trad Cat Night, as you're seeing the stories that we do cover, please send me a message to apostleofmary at hotmail.com. I try to keep information moving, even if I can just get it up in a tweet. I try to do that on Twitter. And that's where I am, by the way, for looking for the social media outlet in which I'm using more readily and interacting. It would be Twitter these days. So you can find us. By searching Trad Cat Night, visit my friend Chris Gagne's prepping page, FatimaFoods.ThriveLife.com. Ladies and gentlemen, we're entering that end game the Blessed Virgin Mary said to 
wear the scapular, pray the rosary. She did say in the end that her immaculate heart will triumph, so let's spread our wings as eagles in faith and hope and rely upon this message that heaven has relayed. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe and God bless.